can you explain what you are doing now here? Okay, uh, right now we're trying to get this uh, to align to that wheelbase over there. That one's going to have a motor that's going to do a different turning than usual. We're going to actually have the physical device tur turn up front rather than the uh, power shifting. Okay. So just something a little different than normal. Okay. A little experiment, see if it works. So what we're going to do is when we add power to the motor on a touch sensor, it's going mm -hmm. to turn, or light sensor, whichever we decide, it's going to shift it maybe t uh, 10 degrees on the front end over there um, so that we can have an actual turning from the physical front end. So, that one so the pure power for the front and reverse is of the rear compartment. Okay, so that is uh, the front no, front one. Yeah, this is the front. Front assembly, this is the rear. Okay. Which is all the, the basically the front and forward motion mm -hmm. and as much support as we can add to it. Okay, yep. Thank you. Oh yeah. Did we finish? We're at programming now. Okay. Oh, you just look at the YouTubing. YouTube, all the okay. Uh, Pre-built programs. Okay. To see what we could update and mm -hmm. you know integrate into ours. So, uh, pretty cool little robot. Uh, okay, back to here is the light sensor. Okay. Have I ever tried uh, this light sensor's plugged into number make a one three. program in? I mean, the installing the program in here? Not yet. Not yet. Okay. Uh, walking yesterday. Yeah. Okay. We, we tried doing our own programming, but we haven't integrated uh, somebody else's program into it yet. Okay. Yep. Sounds great. Yep. Thank you. Instead of opening it, like it just pops up. <laughs> you just uh, modify the this one here, right? For the. Any other different thing? We put more support over here. Yeah. So, because when we turn on the motor, the front part would just fall off. So, we came up with an idea to put uh, support over here. Yeah, we add some support to hold the front part and the another one together. But now it's still go up. Okay. So, have you ever made uh, any program and so now I'm working on it? Yeah, actually, we had we, many before, but then we, it was just it was too it was too much power. Yeah, you can decrease the power from the this. Okay. okay. Yep. Thank you. Um. So far, we have that. Or Spencer, we have that. Spencer has that put on to give it a little bit more traction. Not working too much. Scorpion. It was. It was. Yeah. It apart we took like in the, like two okay. We took the legs off. Uh -huh. The tail right here is pretty heavy. Okay. Know, so we were debating what we did. We that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And we were making a sensor, a sensor array to incorporate all the other sensors to put on the front. Oh, okay. And then, uh, I'm gonna use a steer to this this thing. I was thinking about putting wheels on the, on there on the back with these tires on the back so that it'll the back. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, yeah, thank you so much. In what you are making now? This is a little, uh, little car. Car, okay. Uh, it, uh, this is the little uh, rear, three rear wheel dri driven. Mm -hmm. It's got a little suspension. And this is our little turning mechanism here. Oh, okay. He's building a uh, kind can, of a can winch you see right that? now. This one is a tunnel on the. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And uh, let's see. He's that little winch crane has a uh, sensor on it so that it can pick something up here. Mm -hmm. And then it's going to be able to lift up an object with a line and a magnet. So, yeah, that's the gist of it. <laughs> okay, but uh, try make a program. Oh, yeah. Making program is a different story with uh, making the robot here. So, okay, yep, thank you.